Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you everything in my travel bag. This baby is my horizontal triumph canvas and calfskin tote bag from Celine. She is my little baby. Actually my big baby. She's really gigantic. I actually have a, 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 like a small handbag in here which I'll show you later. So you can really pack a lot in here. Um, this is my carry-on bag for a trip to Italy I'm taking soon and I thought I could just go through, show you everything I've got. Maybe I'll recognize that I actually don't need some of this stuff. And then it's kind of like a purse clean out, two for one, right off the top, my phone. Some pretty basic phone, my little Celine scrunchie, house keys, AirPods, standard. Then we've got an Essentia water bottle. This is like a placeholder water bottle. I'm gonna buy a water bottle when I get to the airport, but I just stick it in here when I'm packing so I can see exactly how much space it's gonna take up. Next, taking up like an eighth of the bag is this giant sunglass case, which I really hate how large the sunglass case is, but it protects the goods. These are the babies I'm taking on this trip. Here is my little camera. This is the Canon G7X. You can flip it up here. Now, snacks, very limited because I'll probably eat at the airport, but we have a little bit of bonbon bon candy, which I'm open-minded to sharing, but might not end up sharing. Sneak peek. A lot of marshmallows and, and fruity things this time. Um, the book I'm reading, Happy Go Lucky by David Sedaris. All right, some nitty gritty things, face mask, Passport, trip wipes, don't know what this brand is, but just some like little wipes. Next we have this little jewelry pouch. If you are going to travel with jewelry, never check it in your luggage, always carry it with you on your person and always put it in a little jewelry pouch. Otherwise, there's nothing worse. I mean, there's nothing worse than like discovering tangled jewelry, but there's nothing worse than discovering tangled jewelry while you are on a vacation and then you're just like sitting there trying to untangle things or you can't find something or you feel like you lost it in a hotel. So I always just keep all of my jewelry in this little pouch. We have a little Glossier U rollerball perfume to stay fresh on the airplane. We, okay, here's my little skincare, toiletries, cure everything bag. I'll just go through this quickly. Eye drops for when you wake up from your airplane nap and you can't see anything and your contact lenses are like blinking out of you. Mini deodorant. Um, a little lip balm from Glossier. Okay, a lot of skincare masks. We actually have three under eye masks. These aren't all for my trip to Italy. Some will be for a trip to Colorado I'm taking. I definitely have more masks. Another under eye mask. And then this is a full face sheet mask, which I look crazy in. So I'll actually probably use this on a hot uh, in the hotel. I don't think I can. It, it actually like has a print on the outside of it. This Solwasu ginseng mask. So you look like extra scary when you're wearing it. So I don't really like to do these on the airplane. I already get the looks when I'm doing the, the skincare, but that's probably like a level too far. Okay. Other things in here, a little concealer, a little clear brow gel. This is a little mini Tatcha lotion. When you wake up, blink your contacts out and your face is really dry. This is a prescription chapstick, which is ridiculous that I have. It's really like, it's like a super strong Vaseline. And it's, if you've ever gotten that like split lip on the corner of your mouth and you just can't eat anything and it like hurts so much and it feels so dry all the time, this little, this little thing will cure it all. Here's what it, here's what it's called. I went to like a CVS minute clinic and then they gave me this. It actually cost me $100 to see that minute clinic and like $20 to buy this, but that's what you need if you've got that problem, maybe. My gua sha, loosely in this bag. I don't love that, but that's how we're rolling. Fast and dirty on this travel. And then my little very mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And I don't wear makeup on airplanes, but 
For this specific trip to Italy, we are taking a red eye, and so when we land, we need to just hit the ground running, attack the day, so I will be doing some freshening up on the airplane. Okay, speaking of freshening up, old reliable Listerine breath spray. I already feel wide awake. <laughs> this is an adapter for Europe. Okay, the Listerine went like straight to the back of the mouth. Oh good, more Listerine. I don't like these as much, but there's, it's a little strips. Two hair ties that I stole from the gym. This thing, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it or not yet, but it's pretty cool. It's a fisheye lens that you attach to your phone camera, but to put it on, you kind of have to have, um, you need to like take your phone case off, which I don't love doing. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the fisheye lens. That's you guys. And that's what it looks like without the lens. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool if you want to take like a front facing super 0.5 photo, which I don't want to do that often, but when I, I don't know, you're like on a vacation, you want to take cool pictures, I might bring it. Okay, oops, this is not supposed to be here. This is a deck of cards, but that is for my Colorado trip bag. You can see I've got like just tons of packing and luggage things I need to figure out back there. That's the deck of cards will go somewhere. We've also got this little hair clip, pretty self-explanatory. So that is it for what's inside just the canvas tote, but also living inside is my leather mini bag. And this is the purse I'm gonna carry around all through my little vacation. So I'll just show you what's inside here. Uh, similar to jewelry, I don't like to check any of my purses when I travel. And I like to just always have it on my person. I don't think that anything would like, I know things get stolen or lost in check bags very infrequently, but I know that it happens. So I just like to have like really valuable things with me at all times. In here, wallet, gum. A lot of like breath freshening up items in here. Um, just picked up this new hand sanitizer, Rainwater. This is my all-time favorite scent from Touchland. I think it's the lightest and most refreshing. It smells a little bit like the Germex hand sanitizer and a really refreshing men's cologne. Hopefully that sounds appetizing to you. Okay, in the middle pouch of the bag, we have a little hand cream and we have another wet wipe. Okay, more hair ties, probably too many hair ties. And then, oh my gosh, this is the last item. Last but not least, we have my brand new Baccarat perfume. And is it, you know, it is very extra to take an entire bottle of perfume with me, but I recently bought this. It was $350, and it's the best perfume I've ever smelled in my entire life. It is so sweet and crisp and light and just powerful enough where I don't wanna mix it with any other perfumes. Um, and I wanna wear this on my entire trip. I'm literally like dousing all of my clothes in it and I'm just gonna carry it with me at all times. I'm literally gonna carry the entire bottle. I don't know how big this looks to you, but it's under the liquid limit for like a TSA carry-on. 2.4 fluid ounces, not bad, but I'm gonna carry it in my purse, potentially on my person at all times. So, there you have it. That is everything in my travel bag. This is what it's gonna look like from the outside, the little Prada mini leather bag ears sticking out. Okay, that is it. So tomorrow, just a little preview, I head to Colorado for a week to ski, and then I will be heading out to, or doing like the quick turnaround in New York, and then I'll head to Italy and the French Alps and Geneva and all over Europe and I'm obviously going to vlog the entire thing. So stay tuned, come back for more. You guys will get to see these breath sprays in action. I'm very excited. And as I'm unpacking my bag, I'm just wondering if I even have everything. Like definitely have the passport, right? This is the most important thing. This is the number one most important thing. This is the number two most important thing. With these two items, you can go anywhere in the world. That is all for this What's in My Bag. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.
I left my phone at my brother's place It's not 